Hello, my lovely knitters. Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and wishing everyone has a safe, happy and healthy 2022. In the first video of this year, I'm going to show you how to knit the garter rib stitch. This is a super simple stitch. It's perfect for beginners and it's great to um, knit any kind of project, whether it's a scarf or a blanket um, or, or even a hat. And I've provided the details for the pattern to knit it in the flat as well as knitting it in the round in the description field. And I've knit a couple swatches here. You can see one in a darker shade and one in a lighter shade. And this one is in a cotton yarn. So it looks great even when knit, um, when knit with cotton. And this is the right side of the fabric. This is the, the back side. So it's not a reversible stitch, but it still looks very pretty. And again, very, very simple. So let me show you how it's knit. The pattern itself is knit on a multiple of six stitches plus three. So I have cast on 12 stitches here. I'm going to cast on three more and I'm using the, the long tail cast on, but you don't have to use that. You can use any cast on of your choice. And I'm just using double pointed needles since they're short and easier for me to demonstrate on. So for this demo, I'm using size nine needles, US size nine needles, which are 5.5 millimeters and some worsted um, weight acrylic yarn. So here we go. We have 15 stitches. So it's a multiple of six, six times two, 12 plus three, 15. And the pattern itself is a two row repeat. So the first row, which is the right side of your work is just a regular knit. So we're just gonna knit all the stitches. And this is where the super simple part comes in because one row is just a plain knit. And so it makes for great TV knitting. If you are a TV knitter like me, or if you just want to be in the moment and knit and enjoy that knitting journey, being mindful, then, then that's great too. So this here is the end, coming to the end of row one. And as you can see, it's very simple, just a regular knit all the way across. You're going to turn your work, row two. Row two, the pattern goes, you're going to knit three, pull three, all the way to the last three stitches. So here we go. We're going to knit the first three stitches and then purl the next three stitches. Purl one, two, and three. And that is the pattern repeat all the way to the last three stitches. So let's see that a few more times. Knit one, two, three, and purl one, two, three. And you keep doing that till you get to the last three. The last three stitches, you're just gonna do knit. So knit one, two, and three. And that's it. That Those are your two rows. So this is the back side of the work. You're gonna turn your work and you're gonna start row one again. Row one, row two, and keep doing rows one and two and your pattern will start to form. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do row one one more time because I wanna show you one trick you can do to make your work look a little bit prettier. Okay, so I'm done with row one. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to do row two. Now for row two, when you do your knit three, your first three stitches are just a knit, and then you do your purl three. When you go from the knit to the purl transition, there's a little bit of a, a, a slack there, right? You can see how much of a, a slack there is. And to try and, and, and fix that, what you can do is after you do the knit three and you start the purl, you do the first purl and then take the yarn to the back and pull it, tug on it a little bit. And that'll take care of that, that, that extra slack, slack that you get. Bring your yarn back to the front and then pull the remaining two stitches just a regular way. And then knit three. So when you go from purl to knit, you don't need to worry about it because it automatically happens since you pull the yarn to the back, um, it automatically takes care of the slack. But going from knit to purl, you tend to get that slack. So again, knit to purl, purl the first stitch, Take the yarn to the back, tug on it just a little bit, and then purl the remaining two stitches. And this is just an optional optional technique if you want to do that. Um, if, if you don't do that, if it's too complicated and you don't want to do that, that's totally fine too. Your work will still, your work will still look still look pretty. It's not gonna look, it's not gonna look that bad. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments field. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel over these last few years. And I'll be posting a lot more videos in 2022 and hopefully more regularly. Happy knitting!